Hi, this is The Business Guy. So what's the process of making a sale? First of all, you need to give the prospective client a high level of certainty on the product, loving the product, trusting and connecting with you, and trusting and connecting with the company. So if you can get as close to 10 as possible on the certainty scale for those three things, you'll more than likely make the sale if it's something that the prospective client needs. But 95% of the time, at the end of your presentation, the prospective client is going to throw up a stall. They are going to try to delay the buying decision. For a professional, that is not the time and the place to get weak in the knees and say okay in a high-pitched voice. Instead, that is the time to roll up your sleeves and earn your paycheck. We need to have our antennas up and recognize a stall for what it is. It is not an objection, it is a stall. It is to delay the buying decision because the prospective client does not have enough certainty on the product, you, or the company. So your job is to make sure they have that. And you do that by lowering their action threshold, by asking them what's the worst thing that could happen if they buy your product and service, and then answering that question for them, and then you ask for the sale again. If they throw up an additional delay or stall, you raise the pain threshold ethically by asking the question, what's gonna happen if you don't solve this problem, fulfill this need that you have, and letting them answer. Now we have to have our antennas up during the sales process. We talk about this in sales meetings, what to do, how to say it, what a delay or stall is, and we rehearse this during the meetings, and yet in real practice, I hear somebody saying, okay, let me think it over, let me talk to such and such, let me do this, let me do this first. And the professional on our side of the conversation forgets all about what we talked in the sales meeting and says, okay, I'll call you back later. Okay, let's talk later. That's not how you earn your paycheck. That's not a professional. Somebody that week at sales should just get a job as a checkout clerk at Walmart. We need to earn our paycheck and we do it by answering the stall like this. The first stall is answered with a deflection. I hear what you're saying, but let me ask you a question. Does the idea make sense to you? Do you like the idea? See how non-threatening that is and see how the tone of voice is used in a hypothetically speaking tone of voice? You do this to ascertain their level of certainty on the three tens and you will be able to detect that in their tone of voice and they say, yeah, it's pretty good. That's about a level four. You got some work to do. They say, yeah, it's pretty good. Maybe that's a level six. Or, yeah, this is great. Maybe that's a level eight. And then you know where to take them from there. The second and following objection, you overcome. Well, I want to think about it. And if you're selling insurance, you say something like, I understand you want to think about it, but you could leave home today and get into a car wreck and you could lose everything you have. If you're selling insurance to secure one's family, you could say, we never know how long we have. You could kick the bucket tonight. Or I can get the policy bound right now and your family will be safe and secure. So remember, we don't just cave to an objection or a stall. We recognize it for what it is. It's a lack of certainty on loving the product, trusting and connecting with you, and trusting and connecting with the company. This is The Business Guy.